Welcome to Geologia da Terra, or Geology of the Earth. I am Fabiana Richter. And today's episode will be about the acid test. Alright, so what is the acid test? The acid test is performed when we want to determine if a rock contains carbonate minerals, which are minerals that have the carbonate ion in their composition, like calcite, dolomite and aragonite. The test consists of placing a drop of dilute hydrochloric acid on a rock or mineral and watching for any fizz, that is, watching for bubbles of carbon dioxide to be released. If we do observe that, then the rock contains carbonate minerals. If a rock contains carbonate minerals like calcite, and we place a drop of hydrochloric acid on it, the mineral calcite will react with the acid to form carbon dioxide gas, water, dissolved calcium, and dissolved chlorine. Calcite is the most common carbonate mineral that geologists usually encounter, but all rocks that contain carbonate minerals, for instance dolomite, magnesite and siderite, will show similar reactions, and the vigor of the reaction will depend on the carbonate mineral, on the temperature of the acid and on the rock's surface area that is available for the reaction. Limestone that is composed almost entirely of calcite will show a vigorous fizz when it reacts with hydrochloric acid. Dolostone will show a weaker fizz because it is composed of dolomite that reacts less vigorously with hydrochloric acid. Marble is a carbonate rock that has been metamorphosed, so it will also react with acid, and the vigor of the reaction will depend on the rock from which it originated. Now many other rocks contain small amounts of calcite or other carbonate minerals, and these will also react. For instance, sedimentary rocks like sandstone, siltstones and conglomerates may be bound together with calcite or dolomite cement that will also react with the acid. Also, many mudstones, when originated from environments where clay minerals and carbonate minerals were deposited at the same time, will show a reaction with the acid. This is the case of this calcareous mudstone that was formed in a lacustrine environment. And this is the end of our video today. Today we talked about what is the acid test and how does it work, what are the reactions involved, and to which rock types we apply this test. Thank you so much for watching, don't forget to leave your comments, and if you enjoyed your time at Geologia da Terra, like and subscribe please.